Welcome to another DK Custom Products video. I'm Dwayne and this is Kevin. And as some of you may know, we just got through with our first DK Custom open house. And what we did during that open house is we had a mobile dyno machine here. But we got the dyno machine here two days early so we could do a lot of testing. And man, we did a lot of testing. Yeah, we bit off almost more than we could chew. Right, and we know some of you are anxious to see you know, what we tested, what those results are. We did over 300 pulls. We tested 90 different configurations. Yeah, and what that means is different air cleaners, you know, swapping air cleaners, swapping exhaust components, changing Change. the fuel map, mm -hmm. a lot of different things we did to test. And uh, we haven't had time to sort through that, edit the footage, uh, you know, crunch the data. We were changing parts so fast, we didn't even think about the numbers. You know, we got the numbers. The numbers are what they yeah, are. They are I what mean, they are. So we're gonna be, over the next couple of weeks, we're gonna be uh, looking at them, doing, putting overlays on, doing comparison charts. Right. We'd appreciate if you'd like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. That way you'll be updated when our future videos come out of all the tests we've done. But one of the first sections of video footage we come across is this testing of the DK Custom 606 air cleaner, comparing it to stock. And we tested some other components too, just to kind of prove or disprove, you know, a theory that an aluminum backplate will outperform a steel backplate. Right. And so what happened about three years ago, which was the last time we were able to get on the dyno, mm -hmm. About three years ago, we saw that uh, the Big Sucker, most people know what an Arlen S Big mm -hmm. Sucker is, it uses a k and filter element, and it uses the exact same k and filter element as the 606. And we ran, three years ago, we ran the 606, then we take that filter element, and we put it on a, uh, a Big Sucker yep. that was vented externally, mm -hmm. and no matter what we did, the big sucker was producing less power. <laughs> right. So, and before any of the testing of the 606 steel backplate, the 606 aluminum backplate, and the Arlen S big sucker, we ran the stock air cleaner. Right. So you can see that, the stock air cleaner running, then we ran the steel, then we ran the aluminum, and then we ran this. So we do have the charts of the difference between the steel backplate which is the one that we've been selling for years yeah. uh, compared to the factory air cleaner. So that's the chart that you see up in the upper left corner here. Yeah. And then the other thing is we did a video back, I don't know, a year or so ago, and we'll put it up in the corner here where we talk about what is so important with an air cleaner is what happens after the air passes through the filter element. Over the next few months, we have a lot more videos coming with dyno charts. You let us get through Christmas <laughs> and New Year's and Wayne being on vacation for what, nine days? You're leaving Friday, right? Yeah. And, um, and then we're gonna get back at it in 2022 and evaluate all the dyno charts and we'll be getting the information out as quickly as possible. Right. Until then, y'all ride safe out there.